What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to do another Cascador video. So this is a, a workflow that I use from Rococo to Cascador for cleanup and then bring it into Unreal. And um, yeah, I'm super excited for this one because they just released, I believe yesterday, a uh, new upgrade which has a mocap cleanup, makes it so much easier from what they were doing before which was already pretty cool but now it's pretty much like all automated so yeah let's jump right into it um you know because i use rococo i'm gonna show you guys how it's done from rococo but this workflow works with any kind of mocap data okay so here i'm in rococo i'm just gonna grab one of these files and I'm gonna, they, they have a Unreal Engine 5 skeleton preset now. My last video, when I made that, they didn't have this yet. Um, so I'm gonna be using the uh, UE5 one. So I go and check my body mesh and I make sure I select the uh, Unreal Engine 5 skeleton preset. And you know, just do whatever you need to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and export this clip. All right, so now I've got Cascador open and new scene. I'm going to grab the FBX that I just exported and I will drag it into the scene. Come on, come on. Where is it? Okay, I'm going to say no. And it's going to look all jacked up. Uh, I really don't know why, but, you know, the animation is here, right? You can see uh, the skeleton. That's basically my animation. Um, I'm going to have to extend this. So let's say 900. Okay, it's actually longer than that. So make sure you select everything, right? And you're gonna be in this joint mode, right? And you're gonna select everything, box select everything. And then I'm gonna select all of the keyframes down here. Or whatever, you know, maybe if you only want one segment, then just select whatever segment animation you want. And with all of that selected, I'm gonna do Control Shift C, which, basically copies that interval. So you can also go edit, copy interval. Okay, so with that copied, now I'm gonna go file, open, and I'm gonna choose the UE5 Manny. Uh, it doesn't matter, I mean, if you're going to Quinn, I don't know, it doesn't really matter here because it's the same skeleton. I'm gonna use the UE5 Manny you know what, actually Quinn, because my um, character is actually female. Go ahead and open that. So all I'm doing right now is I'm using the rig and and that's why I export it as a UE5 preset because I wanna utilize this Cascador's rig. Now, if I had export as a Rococo Newton or if you have a custom you know, mocap rig that you create um, export as, then that makes it a little bit more complicated for you because then you have to come in here and create your own rig, okay? I mean, it's not that complicated, but it is, it is an extra step where, you know, you're gonna have to watch their tutorial on how to create a rig, but, you know, you can pretty much do that. But I'm gonna use their Quinn rig, which is already created here. And I will go into joint mode here. Select it. And I will create, I forgot how many frames it was, but let's just say 1300. You know, big enough to get all that. And then I'm gonna, hold on, hold on, let's make this a little bit bigger. And I have to select the, um, I have to select interval. So select, you know, I'm holding down left click. And I think that should be good enough. Now, Control Shift 
v bam where is it okay see i have my mocap animation oh shit hold on control z now you've got your animation your mocap animation on that rig now I'm gonna show you guys how to do just like a super quick cleanup just using their auto tools right here. Um, one thing I'm gonna do real quick though, and this happens all the time with these uh, mocap files or at least with Rococo. Um, I want to turn this thing on. Interval edit mode. Turn that on and you're gonna see this little red outline and remember, I still have this entire interval selected, okay? Because um, what I'm trying to do right now is... Let me see if this works. I'm basically changing the pivot point, essentially, or the, pretty much the location. Because I want the center to be like right here. Yeah. So, you know, if, if um, she was facing the wrong direction, I can also rotate so that she's like looking in the right direction. So essentially this is just fixing the pivot point. Okay, that's like the number one thing I would do. Then I'll turn this off. I'm gonna press X. And I can actually, I don't even need to select that anymore. Cool. So, you know, I'm not the expert here with this mocap cleanup, but I do know that um, I can do something that's very automated. So what I'm gonna do is click this, auto physics. I'm just gonna click that, and that starts, or that triggers the auto physics. Um, one thing that they were saying is like, you wanna look at the fulcrum down here. And to be honest, I really don't even know how to do the fulcrum thing, but they're saying that this shouldn't really be messed up. But if yours is messed up, you want to, um, you know, fix up the fulcrum first. But I think mine is looking okay. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is there's like a button up here that they, it's a new thing. Animation unbake. And let me just show you a little bit. See how every single one of these is like a, a keyframe? That's how the mocap data looks, right? But, and with this all selected still, I didn't do anything different. I'm just gonna click that button. It might take a second though, because it's processing everything. All right, so that actually took literally more than a minute, but um, I don't know if usually it doesn't take that long, but yeah, it took almost like a couple minutes, three minutes maybe. Um, but you can see it worked. See how all the keyframes are now interpolated with various different types of interpolation, which normally you can um, come in here and change. And yeah, look at all of this stuff it did. Normally, if I had to do all this, it would take me forever and I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> um, so let's see. Let, let's look at the animation now. I mean, you're probably, I mean, I didn't really show you guys what it was like before, but it looks like, you know, all this should have gotten smoothed out. Like if there were any weird jitters or anything. Uh, for the most part, it gets smoothed out. And 
and I would just look at it, you know, and this, this piece of mocap wasn't too bad actually, um, but you can make additional adjustments at this point, which I'm not going to get into because it does take a little bit more finessing, um, but just very quickly, from what I understand, if I go into this mode, auto posing mode, and then let's just say just for demonstration purposes let's find the spot where we want to change it up oh okay right here the arm crosses through so I want to I want to change that frame. So because there's no um, frame right there, actually, you know what? I think it's probably better in this mode. Um, I'm just gonna collapse this real quick. And I know I'm only dealing, so I clicked and I'm only doing these few frames. Actually from here to there, okay? And really, I just I actually want to make another keyframe. Um, you know, what? actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this frame. So I'm I'm on the actual keyframe, which is blue. And I'm just gonna I'll, I'll double click this so it selects the um, the child of that joint, and then I'm just gonna. Let's see if this does anything. Pull it, pull it out a little bit. Maybe I'll rotate it. Maybe like that. Let's see what happens. You see how that actually changes now? Um, the hand doesn't go through. But it's still pretty smooth, right? Okay, maybe right here I would have to... I, I clicked, and then I'm going to press N. Ah, oh, shoot. No, 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 not N. Uh, F. F. Okay, F creates a keyframe. And I'm just gonna, yeah, maybe something like that. So now I fixed that part. Okay, so you know, I would go in and use the same kind of tools that they have already, which I'll, I'll link in uh, one of their older tutorials. But essentially, you would be able to do your cleanup in here. But the main thing is using this like unbaking. It actually does a lot of the work for you. And now you just have to kind of go in and fine tune a lot of things. Um, but once this is all kind of done, you basically just click this snap to auto physics. And it kind of it basically bakes it again to the auto physics, which is like an AI you know, generated thing that um, is matching it to the way that like real physics works. So that's uh, the, the most powerful tool within Cascador. I'm gonna click this so it switches that off because we're done with it. All right, so here is just showing you guys the mocap data before it was cleaned up. See how there's a lot of like twitching going on Look at the legs. Everything's twitching, basically. It's crazy. The other thing I wanted to add is that you can, you know, do this by pieces. So if I just select this little interval right here, and then I can go animation unbake, and it'll 
it'll just do only that interval. You see how it only did this interval right here? And if you go over here to this little mini bar, scene settings, there's like a little section called animation unbaking. Here you can actually change these values to tell the unbaking um, how much you how much difference you want to have in terms of the interpolation right so the higher the value it's gonna create um, a, much more of a difference from your original uh, animation right because it's interpolating these um, keyframes so it's gonna change the animation slightly right but if you're like hey I don't like how it changed so much then just lower all of these values so here's the auto posing direction value um, you can change that to one auto posing position uh, auto posing key differences yeah if you bring all of these to be very low then it's gonna it'll actually it'll basically create a lot more keyframes whereas a higher number like if I jack that up to 90 for this interval, for example, then it's going to create less keyframes, right? So there'll be more interpolation. Um, but you also gotta make sure, you know, these numbers matter a lot as well. So if those numbers are low, then it's still gonna create more. But if I, if I do, I don't know, 10 here. If I do 10 for all these, or if I jack up the number a little bit. Let's see uh, what that looks like compared to this one, which was on a default. So I'll just click animation unbaking with this new interval selected. And then it'll do that for this specific interval. Okay, so you can see the difference this one there's much more interpolation and yeah not too many keyframes right so the animation is going to be more changed it'll probably be more buttery like a little bit smoother but you see how it's all like jittery it's, that's because this mocap data looks all bad that's why even just with like if you just select everything and just did <laughs> um, the most default uh, let, let the AI run its course it'll smooth out a lot of your the little jitters and stuff from mocap and that's why you don't even need to be like super good at this software to utilize this for like a base level of mocap cleanup that's kind of the gist of it you know um, I'll let you guys sort of figure out exactly how to use this. There's some um, ways, uh, different methods to clean up. Um, but that's kind of the gist of it. You do this and you're done. Go file, export FBX. And you've got yourself a, you know, a little bit of a cleaned up like a quick and a quick easy way to clean up your mocap at least to smooth out some of the stuff um, it does take a little work if you really want to get granular with this and then I would probably do more cleanup within Unreal once I export this out but yeah leave me a comment and give it a thumbs up and let me know how you guys like Cascador their new release looks pretty interesting so hit me up in the comments thanks guys bye